guys, it's Mariska from Design by Mariska, and today we are speaking to Dia Alam here at his artwork in JBR The Beach, Dubai. So, hi Dia, hi, welcome hi, to the channel. Thank you so much. Would you mind introducing yourself a little bit to our audience for the few people that do not know who you are? Okay, I, my name is uh, Dia Alam, I'm a, I'm a calligrapher profession. Uh, I started uh, doing calligraphy uh, since uh, 2011. Uh, uh, now I have my uh, now I'm starting developing my own style in calligraphy, in Arabic calligraphy. So I'm focused in uh, in just the the Arab the the doing the Arabic calligraphy in in a very modern style. Oh, perfect! That sounds great. So, how would you describe your artistic style? Uh, my my uh, my main focus is is the Arabic calligraphy, but I I like to do the Arabic calligraphy in a very uh, like uh, contemporary and modern style. So uh, like for example, I can do I can do shapes in Arabic calligraphy, like uh, portraits or uh, like shape of uh, of an animal or a skyline. I can do it in in calligraphy. And the same time, I'm using my own uh, font that I I, I develop. Uh, through some different fonts of, uh, of the Arabic and I'm using it to do uh, like geometric shapes also in Arabic calligraphy. So this is how I can describe the whole thing. Yeah, the so whole, a whole modern style. twist on, <laughs> yes, it's exactly. not your everyday calligraphy, it's uh, got a yes, bit of exactly. modern twist and even Batman, I've seen you've done a yeah. Batman, Yeah, which is because amazing. I'm a big fan of Batman. Oh so, really? Yeah. That's yes, amazing. Yes, he's my favorite uh, superhero. Yes. Oh cool, yes. a little known fact we did not know. <laughs> So when did your journey with calligraphy started? Uh, my journey with calligraphy first started in my, uh, in my early ages when I was back in school. I, uh, I, I felt like uh, I have a very uh, deep passion to uh, Arabic calligraphy. I started teaching myself in, uh, in school. I started teaching myself how to do, how to write the, the uh, different uh, type of uh, Arabic Arabic fonts uh, and uh, I kind of uh, like uh, got caught up on life for for a long time and then I came back to to the, the whole thing to, to calligraphy again in 2011 so there is where I started uh, to practice more and started to do it more professional okay yeah that sounds amazing. Thank you. And then it's been a journey since yeah. 2011. You've come a long way. Yeah. Recent years, street art has been popping up all around in the UAE. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think uh, UAE and especially Dubai is very uh, it's, uh, it's keeping up with everything in, new in the world. And one of the uh, this, the street art. So they, start, they started uh, working on this uh, Dubai Muse Dubai Street Museum this year. And they brought uh, a lot of international artists, and, a lot, and I was uh, I was uh, involved in one of the murals uh, in the Dubai uh, Street Museum. It's uh, it's in Second uh, of December Street, and it was a, a great experience. Actually, I, I love the experience to do with calligraphy on a large scale. So uh, I, I also got involved in another mural project in Ajman. Oh, that's the massive, the yeah. one with the yellow. Yeah, it it's was, beautiful. It was, it's, it's, my, it's my biggest uh, mural so far. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's definitely, I mean, this is small <laughs> compared to that. That's yeah. amazing. You are the founder of Nacht Design in UAE, the first Emirati brand for Arabic calligraphy. Would you mind sharing a bit more about that? Yeah, uh, we started Nacht. Uh, I, I started the idea of Nacht in 2012. Uh, I started thinking of, uh, of an, uh, a brand to be only specific in Arabic calligraphy, that it can be that can be carry carry the, the culture of the uh, of the Arab world to the to the whole world. So uh, that's when I started in 2012. Uh, I started developing some of the some of the product, product, products uh, by uh, by Arabic calligraphy, like T-shirts, like uh, like. Uh, uh, everyday uh, use items so uh, and we got lucky to to, uh, to have uh, to have it uh, sold in uh, in uh, Burj Khalifa yes and it's it, it's still sold there actually it's uh, yeah uh, 
it's been it's been like uh, for four years now. Uh, Jeez, that's yes. an accomplishment. Yeah. Oh, well done. So, uh, so I I was thinking that Arabic calligraphy is just uh, it's not just for Arabic speakers. Arabic calligraphy is a, it has a lot of beauty in it that anybody can can appreciate. So that's what I was thinking. That's what I started Nahta. I started Nahta to to bring the beauty of the Arabic calligraphy to the world, to the whole world. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, and that's and it started from from my. Uh, Oh, my, my my favorite place. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's it's my really hometown. Awesome. My hometown is uh, is Ajman. Okay. And I started uh, uh, Nah Designs in Ajman. And uh, and now, inshallah, we are we are growing more. Soon, inshallah, we will be having our our own uh, website. Oh. Yes, and it, wow. it it will not just be like uh, just about Nah. It will be like uh, more of a uh, uh, online uh, online store. Okay. Yeah, it will be an online store for so you can you can buy the products, you can you can order you can order the the designs, you can order anything in Arabic. So you don't have to go just to Burj Khalifa to buy t shirts, yes, you can exactly. get it online. Yeah, you that's can get brilliant. it <laughs> anywhere in the world, yes. Oh, exactly. that's amazing. Thank you. Cool. Wow, thank you. So do you have any advice for young artists starting out? Yes, of course. Uh, I always advise everyone who is starting up that uh, they have they they shouldn't give up easily. They have to keep to keep working hard and working hard and working hard, and they they shouldn't like uh, give attention to people. They try to bring them down. They have to keep up uh, on their on their hard work, and hard work will pay will pay off no matter uh, no matter what. It's just. It, it may not happen this year or the next year, but eventually it will. Hard work will eventually pay off. So, yeah. I mean, that that's from your yeah. side as well, because you started in 2011 with this, yeah. and you were working full-time until this year. Yes, Where exactly. you could actually go full-time as Yeah, an and it was, it was a really hard time, actually. It was a really... Uh, I, I, had, I had a lot of, uh, of hard time, and I had to work so hard on my... On my uh, on my style, on on my uh, on my brand, on Nahd designs, and uh, it, it took us it, it took us uh, more than five years to to get thirty thousand followers. So this <laughs> on Instagram. Wow. So wow. yeah, actually it paid off. So yeah. after all, yeah. That's brilliant. Well, yeah, you guys are doing an amazing job, yeah, and there's so you. many amazing things coming up. So yeah, that's brilliant. You, so. you painted yeah. on cars. You painted on handbags, you've painted on murals, you've painted like this amazing piece. So what is next? Uh, what is next? I will be doing more actually. I, I, I have I have a lot of, uh, of ideas. Uh, so like calligraphy can be done on anything. Just, just, uh, just have the, you, ha you have to get the, the right ideas and, the, and something that will be creative, something that will be close to people and then you just do it. And, and you wish that people actually love it. So. Yeah, I yeah. mean, people, I think people appreciate the art more. And, yes, you know, um, and calligraphy for me, I don't understand it. Yes. Um, I'm always, when I go to art exhibitions and there's either calligraphy or something written in Arabic, I'm usually the person that grabbed the first person that can speak Arabic and I'm like, what is this what saying? Does it say? yeah. Sometimes they don't even know, yeah. but um, I find it's, it's really, it's interesting. I love it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It, it is, it is. The Arabic calligraphy is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a very, uh, is a very, very beautiful art. It yeah, has, it's beautiful. Yeah, it has, it has unlimited, uh, you know, uh, uh, unlimited ideas. You have, uh, you can, you can do anything with Arabic calligraphy. You just have okay. you just have to to have the creativity that you can you can use the Arabic calligraphy to do something yeah, very uh, very creative. Yeah. What inspires you as an artist? My background as an urban planner actually uh, it inspires me a lot in my artwork because it gives uh, I can get a, like a bigger vision or a, 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 like a bigger scale vision on my art. So I, and I know how uh, like how can I. Uh, apply it in so so many different and creative ways so especially uh, uh, as in uh, like geometric shapes I love the geometric shapes so I like to do a lot of uh, circles and squares in Arabic calligraphy okay. uh, also I got him uh, I, I, I did uh, 
uh, some of the sheikhs uh, of the UAE in Arabic calligraphy. And yeah, it's, it was one of my favorite artworks actually. Okay. So yeah, I can I I, I get inspired by a lot of things, and w one of the things also that inspires me that uh, sci-fi movies. Sci yeah, That's really, very yeah, interesting. Really, yeah, they really inspires me to do to to work on my uh, on a different like. Uh, modern style of my art. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really interesting. Yeah. So, which which favorite sci-fi movies then do you have if they inspire you? Oh, let's say Star Trek. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Star okay. Trek is one of my favorites. Star Trek. Uh, uh, also, the Marvel and DC DC comics movies. Yeah, they also they they inspire me. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah. Who is your favorite artist and why? Uh. My favorite artist is, I cannot say that is a specific person. I, I love a lot of artists, but the main artists that I, am, uh, I get, uh, I like the most are the ones who, ha who have uh, visions. So if you have a vision for your art and you have like a, like a, a goal, like what, why are you doing the art? If you have like a clear vision for your art, this is where you can, you can be inspiring to everybody. So this why uh, some of my uh, some of my favorite artists are uh, a French artist called Zefa and also a French artist uh, El Cid. Uh, they are, uh, and many more, but mostly the, the, the people, those people because they have they have a clear a clear vision and they have a clear uh, uh, idea about about their art and where they want to head with. Okay, well, that's yeah. very interesting. Thank you. So Dia, thank you so much for being on our channel thank and you. sharing a little bit of your story to us. Yeah, and thank as you a little, for inviting me actually. You're most welcome. As a little thank you, I'm giving you one of our blackboards. Oh, okay. So it's made with recycled Nespresso coffee capsules. Oh, that's and nice. And a little bird told me you like blue, <laughs> so. Yeah, I do. It's one of my favorite colors. So it's, yeah, so. It, it is my favorite colors, but it's also Started to be. I started to like other colors now. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, oh. doing doing art all, uh, all the time is you you get uh, you have to be you have to love a lot of colors. <laughs> well, you can use that around the house yeah. to make little notes and Thank scribbles. You so, much. so it's a yeah. blackboard. I, I, I sure will do. Just... I will sure, sure do something nice. Thank that. you so much. Thank you so much. So thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and go and create something beautiful.